So you can hear the bells in the background. That's at Martin's uh, Church in the Bowring. You can see it behind there. We had that yesterday on one of the vlogs. So I'm heading up to start the, uh, to go to the uh, Victoria Square vlog. Now, keep in mind it's gonna have some of the, uh, the uh, Christmas market in the background and that's because the Christmas market takes up several of the squares. It's very busy. You've seen it yourself yesterday if you watched my vlog on the uh, the Christmas market in the hostel. There was tons and tons of people and it's well worth your while and it's actually not that bad for as far as pricing. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Victoria Square and what, it, what the history behind it is and how vibrant it is uh, part of Birmingham City. Good morning everyone. It's Sunday morning. This is the closest I can get to the uh, statue of Queen Victoria and we're in Victoria Square. So today what I'm going to show you is the, the center of the heart of Birmingham City. It's a landmark. It has all different buildings around. Now obviously I showed a bit of it during the uh, during the Christmas market that we saw yesterday. If you watched that video, if not, it'll be at the bottom of the video so you can watch it later. Also I want to show you is uh, stay tuned to the end because I'll have an explanation and a little vlog about the uh, the back-to-back -back tour that I was going to vlog this morning and what happened to that one. But right now I'm going to show you around all the different buildings including the iconic Iron Man statue, the uh, the Fluzi, which is the fountain, and also the different buildings that are around in Victoria Square, trying to make your way around all the different wooden structures for the Christmas market. Here's the Iron Man statue, which is located in Victoria Square. It was created there not too long ago, if you're going back in time. Uh, I believe it goes back to uh, um, Anthony Gormley, I think it was in the 1997, so I'll correct that and I'll put that up there. And look at the architectural buildings behind it. The big column, like the Roman columns or the Greek columns. And then this huge Victoria Square, the building. We'll go over here on this side of it. You didn't see this part of it yesterday. So it's Chamberlain Square. You see there's still all sorts of setups for the uh, the Frankfurt uh, German market which is like I said yesterday if you've seen the vlog it's the largest uh, German market outside. So here's the Museum of Art Gallery. Oops. Sorry. And clock tower at the top. There's a big picture or a big uh, present that you can go and take selfies in. See the little lad jumping in front there now. It's a museum of art gallery. Look at the big building. I don't know if you can see but there's wired mesh all along this top part of it I guess to prevent from pigeons from going on there to protect the, uh, the stone. And then here another fountain here. I do research, I'll put that up on the screen what exactly the fountain's from, where it's for, but very ornate. Wow. It's even gilded in gold around the top. Okay, here we go. It's to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of the Birmingham Civic Society in, seven, in 1978. So there we go. I don't have to put it up. We figured out what it is. It's quite the feature. There's another old building there with the dome on the back. Looks like a lead dome. And there's a connecting bridge between the two buildings. So that's the Museum of Art. Let's go see where this takes you and then we'll come around the other side. 
we'll head back down. So if you like architecture, it's definitely a city to come and see. There's a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, not only just the food and the nightlife and that, it's a, it's a huge city. There's something over there too, I, I just caught my eye. So after this, we're gonna go take a look. There's a Ferris wheel there, but there's another big building that I wanna go see. Congreve Passage, Chamberlain Square. Very detailed work on the uh, stonework. And there, a lot of the built windows have that that mesh. I don't know if it's to protect pigeons or people throwing something at the windows, because I uh, imagine they're all listed. Let's see if we can see what the uh, the buildings for We're coming up to the front part of it here. Wildly food up. Oh, no, 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 so it's also part of the Museum of Art Gallery. So you know when it was connected? And it's also in memory of those who served in the 1914 to 1918, the Birmingham Pals Battalions. So, wow, it's a huge building. So it goes back into the whole square, the back part of Victoria Square. So now we're making a way to go see what that, uh, the Ferris wheel is about. Okay, so we're continuing on back towards Victoria Square. We just seen the uh, the front part of the museum of gallery of arts, and I, here's where it, it connects to over. Like we weren't sure what it, I wasn't sure what it was, if it was part of it. But now we'll go back to uh, Victoria Square, and we're going to see the uh, the fountain in more detail. It was it's called the the Flossy or Flusy, Flusy, Flossy, one of those two. Um, okay, we're going to go see the uh, Flusy, which is the jacuzzi. Uh, water feature that's centered in the um, the middle of Victoria Square. And you can see the pillars surrounding it. Would they be Roman columns or Greek columns? Now, probably Roman because the Romans were in uh, England. So, let's just say that is what they are. Like I said, you can still see a lot of the, uh, the, um, the Christmas market. So, Bear in mind, uh, this is not normally here, so you get to see the Iron Man with the statue of Queen Victoria and then also the, uh, the water feature. But we'll, we'll go get close to it and see what it looks like from the top of the feature all the way down. And there's the building, and then we'll go see what the building is at the corner there. And that'll wrap up uh, the tour of Victoria Square. But it is a magnificent building, you see it. And this is Sculpture there that we missed because of the, the, uh, the wooden structure in front there. And here you have the water feature. You see, it's nice with all the uh, the wooden boxes for the winter festival there. But if you look at the building in the front, it's really nice. See the decoration, the ornate in front goes from the two pillars. And there's another space there. So there's one there, one there, and then there's the water feature goes down into like jacuzzi. See the, uh, and people are tossing in pennies there for good luck. Maybe so, that's the thumbnail. Like, huh? Now we'll walk around here, and we'll go see the building in the corner there, and that should about do it for the tour. Right, so here's another perspective on this side of it. The building and the mosaic is in 
the gold mosaic you see. Again, it's covered with the wire mesh. So I wonder what that is, folks. But uh, most of my, I presume it's to preserve it in some way, whether it's for the animals like pigeons and stuff, or uh, or the other type of animals like people throwing stuff at glasses that uh, can't be replaced. So here's the other side of the corner. It's quieter here. And there's the sign for Victoria Square. Theatrix. This is the eatery. 12 to 7. Like the buildings are nice and old. And there's the sign for Victoria Square right there. Right beside a Starbucks. And then we'll just walk up to this corner as you would have. There's a nice uh, building with the red brick. Eden Place. I just want to go to this square and then we'll call it a day for this vlog for the uh, Victoria Square. Now don't forget to hit the uh, like and the subscribe button. We're over the 800 mark so we only 200 left to go to get to the elusive 1000 and then I can join the uh, YouTube membership. So please uh, don't forget to do that. Yeah, this looking up this way, there's only an uh, office building with looks like a big wrapper, a nutcracker or something. The building at the end is nice and that. So like, there's all sorts of places that you can look. Now I'm going to take a break and get something to eat. Okay, on the way back, I have the 6 o'clock, I have uh, the Karen's uh, Diner, but I'm kind of hungry now, I haven't eaten for a while, so I'm gonna try the banana tree. Let's see what I get. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday morning. This is the third vlog of my uh, Birmingham City tour. Um, so far, I'm enjoying it. Hope you are. Uh, today, what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back into time. So this is uh, England's second largest city, but in the 19th and 20th century, in the Industrial Revolution, um, the homes for the working class people were developed and it's an interesting place because they actually share the back wall is shared with their neighbors so the houses were built in tight proximity and you were very intimate with your neighbors and you didn't really have much room for the homes and that so but it was a community based building and set up environment so we're gonna go see what that's like I have a tour booked for 10 30 so I'm gonna make my way there and let me see what happens when we get there. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. Uh, I got a call, a number to call to get a refund and that the, they had told me at the time that I could film and vlog it, just to keep it in mind that, uh, you know, not the other people wouldn't be taking uh, pictures of, uh, and I, the, the tour guide, it would be up to the tour guide, and she was adamant that she didn't want to be in the film or any, any vlog at all. And I said, well, I wasn't going to necessarily vlog the actual tour. I was just going to show like snippets of it or you know the background of it as sort of they weave rooms and stuff but they said no they don't want to have any of it so I'm not going to be doing the tour today of the back to back so that's a shame so that'll be one less thing to have on my tours um, so now we'll go on to the next month there we'll won't let that carry that's why I have a whole bunch of different items so we'll just focus on something else so if you are going to the National Trust you can't take any pictures or film uh, of the tours now they said it depends on the tour guide uh, it's too bad because the people that were there they were all looking forward to it and they didn't mind it it was this came down to the one tour guide so anyways 
We won't let that stop us in our adventures in Birmingham. Um, we're going to head off back in and I'm going to go, sh we'll start off with uh, probably Victoria Square is next.